to measure a patient sample, scan the cassette barcode on the barcode reader. The light of the barcode reader has to cover the whole barcode. Then the analyzer prompts open the cover, press the red button to open the red cover, open the pouch and wipe the cassette. Remove the cassette from the pouch, hold the cassette on the filling ribs, wipe the cassette as instructed, insert the cassette on the measuring chamber and close the cover. At this point, the analyzer begins the cassette calibration for validation of the cassette. Also, at this point, the user could enter the patient information, going to the patient information menu to enter patient ID, sample type, sex, and many other patient information. The cassette calibration takes about one minute. Once the cassette calibration is done, the instrument prompts the user to mix and place a sample. Take the sample, mix the sample, make sure the sample doesn't have any air bubbles, place the sample on the syringe adapter, once the sample is placed on the syringe adapter, press OK to do the measurement. Once the sample measurement is complete, the analyzer prompts the user um, to edit the patient sample if needed or remove the cassette. At this point, just press the red button, open the machine chamber, and discard the cassette with the sample according to the local regulations. The results are also printed on the printer. The OPTCCAT is to analyze. It comes with two cassettes, the multi-level SRC and the total hemoglobin calibrator cassettes. The cassettes are located in the back compartment. The multi-level SRC is an electronic test. To run the multi-level SRC, the barcode has to be scanned on the barcode reader. Then the analyzer prompts the levels that wants to be done for the SRCs. The user has to select the levels that is needed. The analyzer gives you the warning to open the cover and insert the cassettes. To open the pouch, just open the end of the pouch, remove the cassettes, hold the cassette on the finger grips, and insert the cassette on the chamber. Once the cassette is inserted on the chamber, the analyzer says close the cover. The cover is closed and the test begins. The test lasts about two minutes. Once the test is finished, the SRC shows the results on the screen, showing that all the sensors pass, and instruct the user to remove the cassette. To remove the cassette, open the chamber, pressing the red button, remove the cassette, and place the cassette back in the pouch. Once the cassette is placed in the pouch, the cassette has to be returned to the cassette compartment for future use. The OPTCCA TS2 analyzer comes with a total hemoglobin calibrator cassette. This calibrator cassette has to be run every three months to calibrate the hemoglobin. To run the calibrator, the user has to swipe the barcode on the barcode of the analyzer. Then the instrument prompt to clean the optics. To clean the optics, the cover has to be open. And using a Kim wipe, just clean the top of the cover. Press OK 
and then the analyzer prompts the user to insert the cassette. Remove the cassette from the pouch. Hold the cassette of the filling grips and insert the cassette on the chamber. Close the cover. And at this time, the test begins. When the test for the total hemoglobin is finished, the instrument prompts the user to remove the cassette. To remove the cassette, open the cover, remove the cassette from the chamber, place the cassette back on the pouch, and store the cassette on the cassette compartment in the back of the analyzer for future use. Opti recommends to run the liquid controls once a month. To run the liquid control, the user have to go to the quality menu. Select, select the ampule that you need to run the control, level one, level two, and level three. Once you decided the level you want to select, you press OK. The instrument instructs to scan the cassette barcode. It's needed to use an optic cassette to run the liquid controls. Follow the instructions on the prompt screen. Open the cover. Open the pouch and wipe the cassette. To open the pouch, open the pouch on the top. Remove the cassette. Hold the cassette on the finger grips. Wipe the cassette and insert the cassette in the chamber. Then the instrument prompts close the cover. At this time, the cassette calibration begins, and then the analyzer is waiting to run the ampule control. To run the ampule, just have the ampule ready, open the ampule, and place the ampule directly on the syringe adapter. There is no need to use syringe or capillaries when running optic checks. Once the cassette finishes the calibration, the instrument prompts the user to mix and place a control. To mix the control, take the ampule. The ampule can be rotated. Make sure the liquid is at the bottom of the ampule. Open the ampule and place the ampule directly on the syringe adapter. Turning the ampule upside down in an angle, place the ampule on the syringe adapter and press the OK button. Make sure that only liquid is aspirated into the analyzer. Do not allow air bubbles go into the cassette. The instrument takes the volume that it needs to do the measurement. Once the cassette takes the volume, the analyzer begins the measurement and prompts the user that the test begin. Once the quality control test finished, the results are shown on the screen. The user have to verify that all the analytes pass. The results are accepted, and the instrument prompts the user to remove the cassette, and the results are printed on the printer. To remove the cassette, open the printer, the cassette cover. Remove the cassette, and the cassette is disposed according to the regulations. This completes the quality control of the OptiCC ATS2 analyzer. I will show you the setup of the OptiCC ATS2 analyzer. To turn on the analyzer, it's needed to connect the power supply on the power supply adapter. The rechargeable battery has to be inserted on the battery receptacle. The printer paper is placed on the printer. To open the printer, you have to press the red button. The Opti analyzer uses a thermal paper. This is the position to insert the paper. Once the paper is placed, you just have to close the cover and the paper is installed. 
the Opti CC80 S2 analyzer comes with two cassettes. The cassettes are located in the cassette compartment in the back of the analyzer. The cassettes are located here, and these cassettes are the multi level SRC cassette and the total hemoglobin calibrator cassette. The Opti analyzer also needs a gas bottle to calibrate the cassette. To turn the Opti analyzer on, it's needed to press the red button located on the side. To install the gas bottle, it's needed the barcode and the gas bottle. The barcode comes with a bottle and the gas bottle is inserted on the side of the analyzer. This is how the gas bottle is inserted once the instrument prompt to install the gas bottle. It's rotated clockwise until it's tight. To do the maintenance on the Opti CC80 S2 analyzer, it's needed to replace the peristaltic pump. The peristaltic pump is located in the printer area. Open the printer cover, pressing the red button. Remove the peristaltic pump, holding the pump on the plastic end and pulling the pump out. Discard the pump according to the local regulations and insert the new pump in this peristaltic pump area, the shaft on the analyzer might have to be rotated to match the key on the pump. Insert the new pump and press the pump all the way down, making sure it's firmly connected. Close the cover, and that completes the maintenance of the Opti CC80S2 analyzer.